Hey guys, today I'll be showcasing my room and that details manga, anime, figures, my video game collection, my computer setup, where I do artwork and make collection videos and hauls and all that. So yeah, enjoy guys. So, we got Yu Hakusho, volumes 1, all the way down to 19, and that is complete. This is one of Togashi's first works, and I've seen some of the anime and I really digged it. And I definitely want to pick up the Blu-rays for Yu Yu Hakusho, watch the whole thing from start to finish. And yeah, it's interesting, the main character actually dies, and people think he's dead. And then he comes back to life, and he's like a spirit detective. And it was like shocking and surprising for all, the, all of his friends and family. And I, I really like the girl with the blue hair. And, and that's the main character's friend right there. And yeah, the volumes for this are really fun. So yeah, that's Yu Hakusho volumes 1 to 19. And then next we got is Hunter x Hunter volumes 1 all the way down to 33. And yeah, I love the character of Gon. And he has some really great friends like Kurapika, Leorio, Killua. So there's Killua, Leorio, Kurapika. And yeah, this series isn't done, but it goes on hiatus a lot, unfortunately. But it's an awesome series with great characters, great villains like Crollo, Lucifer, Miriam, right there. And yeah, like I like the video game arc. I liked. The Chimera Ant arc, the Phantom Troop arc. I'd say the Chimera Ant arc is my favorite arc so far. And yeah, seeing like spoilers, Netro versus Mario, that was epic. And yeah, like Gon and Killua are like really strong kids. Seeing them fight in Heaven's Arena was like awesome. Like at the beginning, they were just like, they did one push and it would take down their foe in one hit and they win the match and they're like winning all this money and stuff and yeah Hisoka is an, definitely an interesting character and the anime is my favorite anime of all time and I have a figure of Krupika right there and he has like his nun chain and his red eyes and he wants revenge for his Kurta clan being murdered by the phantom troop and yeah, the powers are some of the like coolest powers in any thing I've ever seen. With Nen powers. It's really cool. And yeah, Hunter x Hunter is great. And it's cool seeing Gon try to find his dad and become a pro hunter himself at a young age. And yeah, I think he's only like 12 when this thing starts. So yeah. And there's some like epic moments. Like I remember in the video game arc, the dodgeball match was like so epic. And I like the whole card system in the video game arc. And yeah, the command arc, they had some like serious foes. Same thing with the foundry arc. Like they were some serious threat to the main characters. So yeah, that's Yu Hakusho, show, which is complete. We got Hunter x Hunter, and I believe there's like 36 or 37 volumes out now so I definitely would love to pick up some more of Hunter x Hunter and hopefully we get another anime adaptation in some time from now that would be great so yeah that's Yu Hakusho and Hunter x Hunter to start off my collection all right so next we got here is Blue Exorcist Flames 1 all the way down to 19 and yeah, the main character, his name is Ren, and he's the son of Satan. And he has a sword which unleashes his powers, as you can see right there. And he has a brother named Yukio, 
who is an exorcist teacher. I really like Shimmy, him, her, and I love in these volumes you get a color page right in the front of the, the volume. So that's pretty cool. And I love all the extra stuff you get in this, which is always great. Like Food Wars, for example, gives you like real recipes and this discus gives you extra stuff, which is great. And there's two seasons for the anime and I can't wait till we get a third season. I believe there's like 23 volumes out now for Blue Exorcist. So yeah, it's an awesome series. It has great action, awesome art, great characters, cool world, cool powers, and yeah, it's awesome. Let's do access 1 to 19. Alright, so next we got here is Haikyuu, volumes 1 to 21. And yeah, so there's two main characters, and one of them's named Hinata, one of them is named Kageyama. And in middle school, they start off as enemies. And Hinata loses to Kageyama. And in middle school, Kageyama was kind of a mean player. He didn't really get along with players very well. He was always like demanding things and acting like a king. And that's where he got the nickname, like, the king volleyball player. And they end up on the same team in high school, which is funny seeing their reactions. And Haikyuu is really great on character development and building the whole team up, which is great. And I love the art, like the speed and with the ball, you can really feel it. And yeah, I love Haikyuu. It's my favorite sports series of all time. It's like my second favorite or third favorite anime. And yeah, we've got the, the coach, the manager, the assistant manager. And yeah, then we got like the, the great king, not match at the end of season two. I was like on the edge of my seat. It was so intense. And then season three was like even more awesome. And now we're on season four. We used to get these volumes every month. I don't think we are anymore. But yeah, I actually ordered some more of Haikyuu, like 15 more volumes. And I've read everything that I have here. And yeah, Haikyuu is fantastic. And yeah, there's Kageyama throwing off the crown so yeah there you can like see the ball and blocking it so yeah that's pretty cool all right so moving down here we got the seven deadly sins volumes one all the way down to 35 and yeah i love meliodas bon king diane galder Escanor, merlin Princess Elizabeth, Hawk, and these Seven Deadly Sins get blamed for killing the king, and these Holy Knights are after them, and so are the Ten Commandments, and yeah, it's like, it's an awesome medieval series, Leotis is a great main character, I've actually cosplayed as him a few times, and I love the connected spines, just like Dragon Ball, that it has, and the art is fantastic, you got the leader of the Ten Commandments right there. You got Merlin. So there is some of the art, which is fantastic, by the way. And yeah, there's like three or four seasons out for Seven Only Sins on Netflix. It's a Netflix original, so you can only watch it on Netflix. And yeah, there's a game on mobile that I've been playing, which is really fun. And it follows the anime pretty well. And it has like 3D environments you can like walk around in, which is pretty cool. I know they had like a PS4 game for Seven Only Sins, but never played it. So, yeah, Seven of Sins is great. I love the banter between Bond and Meliodas and how, like, they arm wrestle and fight each other and go head to head. So, yeah, that's Seven Deadly Sins. And, yeah, I remember Escanor is, like, one of the strongest characters ever. And Merlin, her powers are really cool. And Dian's like a giant. And, yeah, that's Seven Deadly Sins. So next we got is One Punch Man, volumes 1 to 14. And I think there's like 18 volumes out now for One Punch Man. And the art is done by Yusuke Murata, the story is done by One. And man, is the art fantastic in One Punch Man. And One Punch Man, aka Saitama, can destroy anybody in one punch. So the foes are like gigantic. 
and menacing. And the art is like fabulous. It's fantastic. And then yeah, Saitama always shows up on the back or front of these of these volumes, which is always fun. And the two seasons for the anime, the second season got done by a different animation studio. So yeah, I hear it's not as good, but I hear it's like average at best. So yeah, but I did enjoy the first season for One Punch Man. It's awesome. And the animation was fantastic for that. So next we got is Kuroko's Basketball Volumes 1 to 18. And yeah, the main character Kuroko can pass really well. And he's part of this generation of miracles, which basically means there's like these kids that are amazing basketball players and they're on, they're on the same team in middle school. And then in high school, they split off, form their own teams, and they go head to head in competition in basketball games. And there's like a player who can shoot really well, and like Kroko can like pass really well, and there's a character who can jump really high, and there's a player who's just amazing all around. And it's really cool seeing these players go head to head, and I've seen all the anime. And this series is complete. There's 30 volumes in total, 15 omnibuses in total. And yeah, I definitely need to get the rest of this series. For sure, it's great. Alright, so moving down here, we got Morigami Volumes 1 to 20. And 21 is coming out soon. And I love Yato, he's such a funny main character. And he wants his own shrine, his own followers, he wants to be worshipped. And he has some friends, Yukane and Hiyori. And yeah, Hiyori almost dies, but she comes as a spirit basically where she can like leave her body and then go around as a spirit whenever she wants. And she has like a tell. And then Yukane is Yato's sword, and he can transform into a sword. And yeah, this is a world of gods where people are worshipped and they go head to head, some of the gods. And. Yeah, Norgami is great. The art is fantastic, for sure. It's, it's amazingly well done. And yeah, there's two seasons for the anime and it gets even better each season. And yeah, so season three should be even better. I, I heard it, it gets even better after the end of season two. So. Yeah, I definitely recommend giving Noragami a try, it's awesome. And I believe you can watch it on Funimation. And they have an English dub for it. So that's that's how I watched it. I actually bought it on Blu-ray. And I own the first two seasons, so yeah. And then we got volumes 3 to 21, and I was drawing the covers for Food Wars, that's why they're missing here. And yeah, it's about this kid named Soma, he goes to this school called Tatsuki Academy. And kids compete by doing shokugakis and yeah there's like judges a big crowd and there's like a few different arts like the moon festival where someone is going against this guy named Kuga who does like Chinese cuisine and yeah and, and there's like the central arc where Erna's dad takes over as principal and they like take away the creativity of cooking and everyone has to follow the same recipe and some students get expelled and, and someone doesn't like that so they challenge them to a shokogeki central and yeah so it's been interesting watching that there's gonna be a fifth season the fourth season is complete now and yeah rindo is really interesting she cooks some really rare dishes she's like likes everything cute that's the head of the elite 10 students and yeah it's interesting seeing Erna's character development change over time and yeah love watching and reading this food is super appetizing and a lot of research goes into that and the food is just always surprising all the dishes are just surprising and it makes it really interesting and the covers are gorgeous and yeah we got like the food it looks delicious we got Megami there I like Arana, Nikuri Alice, Spice Guy, the Aldini brothers, the guy who copies techniques, etc. And yeah, I own the first two seasons on Blu-ray. And I own the limited editions for that, which is pretty nice to have. 
so yeah, that's this shelf under the next. And yeah, I got some cool Naruto artwork that my mom got for me. It's pretty awesome. All right, so yeah, I got my Shonen Jump magazines here. And yeah, I got a lot of these for an eBay bid that I won, which was awesome. And yeah, Shonen Jumps are awesome. Manga looks great big. It was gone. And yeah, there's you, Hakusho. And we got One Piece. We got Vivi. Oh, Slam Dunk. We got Slam Dunk. Series I need to get. Bleach. So yeah, these are awesome to own. I own the majority of the English print ones that we have. It went from like 2003 to 2012. And then they switched to doing all digital. But it was awesome getting these every month. And I got like bonus Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I got a Reed Bleach, One Piece, Naruto, etc. So yeah, I love my Shonen Jump magazines and my collection for it. For sure. All right, so next thing we got here is my Claymore box set. And yeah, I got volumes one to 27. And then we got Claire there. She's the main protagonist. She can wield a giant sword in one hand. There's these Claymore fighters, which are all women, which is awesome. And yeah, there's these creatures called Yoma that can disguise herself to look like humans. And they have to take them down, the Claymore fighters. And it gets really interesting in this. And the action is done really well. And the art is like fantastic. And they had an anime ad adaptation for this, but they only did like 26 episodes for it. So they should come back and do like a Brotherhood style for Claymore. That would be great. And yeah. So next we got here is Full Metal Alchemist Complete Box Set Volumes 1 to 27. So you got Ed Al, Roy Mustang, Scar, Winry, and more characters. And then we got Volumes 15 to 27, and then a, a little novel that ties up Bind. We got a cool picture there. And I love all the characters. The story is really well done. The world is cool and really well realized. The powers are cool, like alchemy. And, and now, basically, try to bring the mother back, and that goes horribly wrong. And they lose things, like Ed loses his leg and arm, and, and then Al loses his whole body, so he's stuck to this armor. And they're trying to bring back Al's body. And they're trying to get the Philosopher's Stone to do that. And yeah. FMA is awesome. There's like hardcover editions that are out now, which are great, which are hardcover and come with hardcover color pages and stuff like that. So yeah, FMA is awesome. I love FMA. Alright, so next up here we got Box Set 2, Volumes 28 to 48. And this is 20 volumes of Naruto Shippuden. And yeah, I have yet to read this. I want to get Box Set 1 and Box Set 3 to, to complete Naruto. And yeah, we got Sasuke, Naruto, Sakura, Kakashi, and yeah, Naruto was definitely like one of the big inspirations for me in elementary school. I got like the headband, I had like the shurikens and the kanai knives, and yeah, I definitely need to get all of Naruto for sure. It's a great series, and yeah, it was I was huge into it in elementary school. I even made my own comic series called Ninja Go before Lego made Lego Ninja Go. So, yeah, that was fun to make that. It was like, kind of like Naruto, but my own story, basically. And then next we got here is Trunks with his sword. And yeah, this figure is awesome. I believe it's done by Ben Presto. Or Bandai, one of the two. And he looks awesome. Really well detailed. All right, next here we got is Bleach, which used to be my favorite series of all time and in elementary school and i have yet to see all the anime for it so that's great that i can get the blu-rays for that now and watch it the first time in completion and i really hope that the bleach anime comes back and we get the thousand year blood war arc animated and yeah so we got ichigo uru the quincy orihime with her healing powers and then chad is really strong the art is like fantastic for Bleach. I love the art style for Bleach. The action is amazingly well done. It's really cool seeing Ichigo try and save Orihime and Rukia. 
like the Rancor arc, the Soul Society arc, those were all great. And yeah, I own some of the Blu-rays for Bleach. And yeah, if I have an opportunity to meet the guy who voices Ichigo, I'll definitely do that when, whenever he comes to the next FanX that I attend. So yeah, Bleach is it's fantastic. It's an awesome series. It definitely holds a place in my heart. So yeah. Next we got here is Dragon Ball Super Figures. We got Goku and Vegeta. And they're wearing their regular attire. And they have like blue hair. And yeah, they look awesome. And it looks like they're about to like fight Broly or Frieza. And these are a great duo, a great pair. And I'm definitely glad to have these in my collection. And then I got some art books there. We got Persona 5 and then Tokyo Ghoul. All right, so I wanted to show you guys my One Piece color walks. So I have One Piece color walk too. And this is fun. So everyone's brushing their teeth and Luffy's just eating a fish. Now he's just like, what are you doing, Luffy? So that's funny. And yeah, these color walks are awesome. It's like all the illustrations done by Oda. What he does in full color. We got Luffy there. The two giants. We got Luffy versus Snake, fighting over meat, of course. Luffy definitely has an appetite. And yeah, these are just awesome, great art references. For sure, we got One Piece Flavor of Sand and the Barrett Work arc. We got all the, the agents. And Nico Robin, Luffy in the middle. And yeah, so that's One Piece Clawlock 2. And we got One Piece Clawlock 4. And there's a compendium version, which is like hardcover and comes with multiple color walks in one that you can buy from Amazon or Barnes & Noble. You got the Foxy Pirates, Water 7, and yeah, that's fun. His arm is like going around the One Piece logo. And one of my favorite covers ever with Frankie and Iceberg, Luffy, Nami, and Zoro on the sea train. So yeah, these, these color walks are awesome. Oh uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna do a drawing based off this one. That one's pretty awesome. So yeah, that's my color box. All right, so the next art books I have is Persona 5 art book, The Aesthetics. And yeah, this is awesome to own. I got the Take Your Heart edition for Persona 5, which came with like a bag, the hardcover still book, and so on. You got Ruji, definitely one of my favorite characters. I love his Captain Kid transformation for the eyes. We got Morgana, and yeah, this is an awesome art book if you like Persona and Persona 5. So that's Persona 5, the art book. Next we got Tokyo Ghoul Illustrations. We got King Kaneki and Tuka. And yeah, we got the back. Yeah, we got some really cool artwork. Really short. Tokugou has a really cool art style. So this is cool to have if you're a Tokyo Ghoul fan. The artwork is awesome. And there's Tuka right there. So yeah, that's all my art books. And then we got Son Goku figure here with his staff, his Nimbus rod, and yeah, this figure is awesome. It's dope. And I actually had like DBZ action figures when I was a kid. Dragon Ball Z got me into manga and anime way back in preschool. So, yeah. I owe it all to Dragon Ball Z and the Kira Toriyama for me getting into manga and anime. So, yeah. So, we got Dragon Ball Super Volumes 1 and 2. And the spines are connected just like Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. So, that's cool. And all the covers for. The Dragon Ball Super are like fantastic. They look awesome. I love the art style for a Kirtama's series. It's great. So next we got here is Dragon Ball with a complete box set. We got Krillin and Goku. And yeah, it's fun seeing Master Roshi for the first time, Bulma, Yamcha, Oolong. And it has some like interesting arcs like the Red Ribbon Army arc. King Piccolo arc, the karate tournaments, 
and like Junior Piccolo and it's cool seeing like Goku grow up him as a kid fly around on his Nimbus Cloud and train with Krillin go into karate tournaments and yeah it's a fun fun series and I love the art style love the world the characters it's, a, it's awesome and a great way to start off the Dragon Ball series alright so next here we got is Luffy Zoro Luffy another Luffy and Ace and yeah so this figure here has the 20th anniversary robes which look awesome in red and purple we got Zoro my favorite One Piece character in his black attire and he's tying on a bandana he's getting into series series mode there and he holds the three swords he's known as the three swordsman so yeah Zoro's awesome and we got this figure of Luffy draping a shirt over his shoulder and then next we got is Luffy again with a giant battle axe and a helmet and this is based off one of the movies and yeah I haven't seen that movie yet but I definitely will in the future and then we got Ace my second favorite character is Firefish Ace and he's got his log pose this man hat wipe your pirates tattoo pretty awesome and then we got Nami in her cowgirl outfit she's got cowgirl hat skirt boots and she's supposed to be holding a pistol but I misplaced that and we got Sabo and he's holding the ASL pirates flag and that means Ace, Sable, and Luffy when they were kids and he's smiling and yeah it looks awesome he's like holding a giant flag and a backpack and a book and yeah One Piece is my favorite all time manga series and yeah we got East Blue Yarlong arc Usopp's backstory the Bear T arc and yeah so start off with the East Blue this is where we meet Nami, Zoro, Usopp Sanji and then yeah Nami's backstory was like super emotional so is Sanji's backstory with the, the, the chef who loses his leg saving Sanji in a, in a big thunderstorm and yeah and I love Nami, Sanji, all the straw hats and yeah we got Beric Works and this is where we meet BB for the first time and this is the first time we, where we see Ace and then we got the Skypea arc and seeing Luffy fight against Crocodile it was like epic and he kept getting beat and then he finally beat him and the finale for Beric work was awesome seeing them all raise their hands to Vivi who definitely should be a straw hat she pretty much is one and yeah then we got the Skypea arc with Enaru and the Skypeans and the Shandians and that's really interesting and yeah so next we got is Water 7 and Annie's Lobby and those are some of my two favorite arcs it's where we meet Frankie and this is where we learn Nico Robbins backstory and it's where we meet Iceberg and the Shipwrights and before that we meet the Foxy Pirates during the sports competitions and there he is and the captain of the Foxy Pirates right there and yeah Usopp leads the crew and this is where like the Glen Mary basically isn't working well for them so they have to get a new ship the Thousand Sunny so they have to say goodbye to the Mary Go which was emotional and they have to save Nico Robin and yeah definitely some amazing arcs and then we got the Thriller Bark arc and yeah that was interesting seeing their shadows be stolen the first time we're meeting Brooke and, and then we got Sabadi, where they're like the Celestial Dragons, where Luffy punches one. And then Kuma shows up and makes them all warp to different islands, the Straw Hats. And then we got Impel Down. And this is where we meet Bo Hancock for the first time in Sabadi. And then Impel Down is where Luffy breaks in and breaks out to try to save his brother Ace. And we get the Paramount War. 
And yeah, this is where we're meeting Gemma for the first time. And yeah, I love Ace. Spoilers alert, he dies, unfortunately, which was sad. And yeah, we got the backstory of them as kids, Ace, Sable, and Luffy. Right there, the ASL pirates. So yeah. And then next we got is The New World, which is two years later where Luffy learns hockey from Relay. And then we got the Fishman Island arc. And then we got the Punk Hazard arc. And yeah, that was interesting seeing Law more and having Law use, use his powers and have him switch bodies and stuff, which is kind of funny. And yeah, I love One Piece. It's such a big adventure going on meeting all these different characters the devil fruit powers are really cool the volumes are like super colorful and look awesome and we got the all the shrides here two years later which look awesome the romance dawn from the new world and yeah one piece is amazing and yeah i can't wait till box at four comes out to get more one piece manga and read that and yeah, One Piece is fantastic. I love it so much. All right, so next here we got is Fire Force Volumes 1 down to 16. I'm reading Volume 15, that's why that's missing. And this is done by the same person who does Soul Eater. And yeah, I like Shinra, the main character who always smiles in the face of danger. And in this world, there's people with fire powers and people who turn into fire creatures. And yeah, we believe it's done by these evil people known as the Evangelists. I think that's what they're called. Kind of hard to say their name, but yeah, I love Fire Force. It's really cool seeing all the different fire powers. Like the main character has fire powers from his feet, so he can fly around. I like the character of Arthur, who has like a sword, like a saber sword, which is really cool. I like Captain Obi, and yeah, I love the art. Yeah, there's some of the art right there. And yeah, there's like 17 or 18 volumes out now for Fire Force. I have volume 17 on a different shelf. And yeah, so next we got is Orange, the complete collection, volumes one, Omnibus. And we got Orange, the future manga. And I don't know where the second part of Orange went, but this is my first shoujo series, and I absolutely loved it. It was like this girl that gets this letter from herself 10 years in the future, and they're trying to save this kid. And so yeah, it's really interesting seeing how that turns out. And she has a crush on him. And yeah, it's interesting seeing the future and the present and all that. And it's a fun series for sure. I've seen all the anime. I think I prefer the manga over the anime, but both are great. So yeah, that's Orange. And yeah, next we got is Dreamin' Sun, which is done by the same person. And I need to read that. There's like 10 volumes in total for that. And then next we got is My Hero Academia. And we got Deku here, looking awesome. And I just saw the new movie, My Hero Academia, Hero Rising. And yeah, that movie was awesome. I definitely recommend watching it. It was only in theaters for a little time, but I heard it did really well at the box office, so that's great. And I love My Hero Academia. It has such a big cast, with like such a cool world, really cool powers. I like, I, I dig the art style. And yeah, I like Todoroki, Deku, All Might, Rabbity. And yeah, Class 1A is awesome. I like this cover. And I got volumes 1. So yeah, My Hero Academia is awesome. I think there's like 23 volumes out for it now. And I've read everything that I have pretty much. So yeah, it was like interesting seeing All Might be the number one hero and then Endeavor takes over as the number one hero and see how he deals with that basically and there's some like really interesting villains like the hand villain there is like yeah there's like, like quite a few villains in this like all for one where all might fight him for the last time and luckily beats him so yeah that's my hero academia volumes one all the way down to 22 and yeah i would have to say volume 23 is probably my favorite cover so far it's awesome. And yeah, I, Volume 22, I also has an awesome cover. So yeah, that's the rest of this shelf. On to the next.
All right, so on to the last shelf here. We got Demon Slayer Volumes 2 to 9. I believe there's 10 volumes in total out for it right now. And there's going to be more in the future. And I've seen a few episodes of the anime. And the series is pretty popular right now. And yeah, I really like the character Tanjiro and Nezuko. I did a drawing and that was fun of the first cover. And I've, I have the first volume in my, my room. That's why it's not there. I was reading it. And yeah, it's like... I was like demons in this world and like really strong characters that have to deal with them. And there's like going to be a movie for Demon Slayer, I believe. So that's awesome. I would love to watch that. And yeah, Demon Slayer is a, seems like a really cool series so far. And the art style is unique too. So next we got is Ruby, the anthology, volumes 1 to 3. We got Ruby, Rose, Weiss, Blake, and then volume 4 has Yang. And I love the animation. The action is like really well done. And yeah, it has like really cool characters, an interesting world with like interesting creatures and monsters and cool villains. And yeah, so yeah, that's Ruby the Anthology. What's cool though is that these come with a bunch of color pages, which is nice. So yeah, that's Ruby Anthology. All right, next we got is my JoJo collection. We got volumes one to three, one to four, one to five, and then one. So this is part one, part two, part three, part four. And yeah, we got the first JoJo. It's where we made Dio. And we're using like Hamon powers in the first and second part. And it was like these pillar men that they have to fight against. And spoiler alert, Caesar dies. Unfortunately, he's a really cool character. And it gets even better in each part. Better and better and better. So yeah, next we got is part three. And I got volumes one to five. I think there's like 10 volumes in total. And they're trying to save his mother. And they have to fight Dio and all these different stand users. And this is the first time that you're seeing stand users in JoJo. And I love these Jojoniums, by the way. The hardcovers are great and uh, color pages are, are great as well. And then we got Jojo part four, Diamond is Unbreakable. And that's by far my favorite part. I've seen all the anime up to part five. I've only seen a few episodes of part five. So I've seen one parts one to four and then a little bit of part five. So yeah, Jojo is great. Definitely recommend it. And having these Jojonians in your collection definitely looks great on the shelf for sure. And then we got volume 17 of Fire Force. And yeah, that's my, the latest volume that I have. And we got Orange King Collection 1. And yeah, this is my mom's manga. So yeah. And then we got Tokyo Ghoul. I remember when I first got this, I read the volume like in the whole sitting. We got volumes 1 to 14. And then we got Tokyo Ghoul Re 1 and 2. And I believe Tokyo Ghoul Re is actually ending soon. So yeah. Interesting seeing Ken, Ken Kaneki struggle, seeing all these different goals. I really like Tuka and how she like changes her hair. Tokyo Gori. We did some drawings of the, these covers and that was fun. And yeah, next we got is Ruby. And yeah, I love this cover with Ruby Rose. And then we got Persona 5, which is my most latest pickup. And the game's really fun, and I'm sure the manga will be awesome for it, too. And then we got Golden Kamoi Volumes 1 and 2. And then we got Promise Neverland Volume 1. And, yeah, so, yeah, Golden Kamoi has fantastic art, great action, and the uh, covers are really cool. Basically, they connect front to back, like that. So that's really cool. You don't really see that too often. So, yeah, that's all my manga. All right, so now I'm gonna showcase my anime collection. So, to start off, we got Cowboy Bebop, which is a classic from the 90s. I love the intro for it, it's so catchy. Got some of the characters there on the back. And yeah, let's see, I think there's like, like 26 episodes or so. Yeah, 650 minutes. So, yeah, and there was a movie 
that came out as well. I need to get that. And then next we got is Claymore, the complete series. And this one we had like 26 episodes. And they didn't get all of the, the manga animated. But it's still a really great anime. For sure. So yeah, clear on the back there. And yeah, it's pretty cool. I think there's like two different parts for it. So we got more characters there. And Claymore is great. So next you got here is Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood episodes 1 to 64. When I got this, these were out of print. So I got these for a really great deal at the time. And yeah, this anime is, is in my top five favorite animes. And we love Ed now. The, it cuts out all of the filler. It's just an awesome story from start to finish. And yeah, FMA is, is awesome. And I also got the movie, Full Metal Alchemist, The Sick of Star Milos, which is a spin-off movie based off Brotherhood. And that was a really great movie. Definitely interesting. And then we got The Conqueror of Shambhala, which ended the Full Metal Alchemist 2003 or 2004 series. And this went off on its own story and had its own ending with a different movie. And yeah, it was definitely entertaining, the movie was. And they have some good songs in the openings for the original FMA. All right, so next here we got is Bleach. Set one, Ichigo. Set two with Rukia. Set three with Toshiro. Set four with Renji. Set five with Orihime. And yeah, I absolutely love Bleach. Yeah, the action's awesome. The animation is really well done. I love the voice acting. I love all the characters. And there's like some movies, there's like four different movies, I believe, that are all awesome. I definitely want to pick those up. And yeah, that's my Bleach anime collection. Next we got Is Hunter x Hunter, my all-time favorite anime. It definitely deserves the top spot. It's done by Madhouse, and the animation is amazingly well done. We got Kropika, Ahsoka, and then we got Gon, Killua, Biscuit, and yeah, I love Hunter x Hunter. It's awesome. And I think the last Blu-ray set just came out, or is coming out. So yeah, I'll definitely get all of Hunter x Hunter. Same for Bleach. I'll definitely get all of Bleach. And I actually haven't seen all of Bleach that they have. I think I've seen like 205 episodes or so, but it's been so long that I don't really remember much. So it's been fun re-watching Bleach and watching some of it for the first time. So next we got is Noragami, season one and season two, and it just gets better and better each season. We got Yato, Yukine, Hiori, and here we got Bishamon, her assistant, and then yeah, we got Yato, you can add here already again. And this is such a fun series. The animation is great. The music's awesome. I love all the openings. And that'd be awesome if we got like an origami movie. That'd be fantastic. All right. So next we got is my Dragon Ball collection. So we got Dragon Ball Z Kai. I've never seen Kai before until this year. It cuts out all the filler and just has all the awesome action and moments in Dragon Ball. It's been really fun watching this, because I haven't watched this ever since I was a kid, so it's like, it's all new to me, pretty much. Legendary Z Reborn. So this is episodes one to 26, and there's four seasons. Next we got Dragon Ball Super Boy, the movie, and this is definitely one of the best anime movies I've ever seen. The action is amazing. Seeing Goku and Vegeta fight Broly was epic, and then we got we got some in the past with Bardock, Goku's dad, and then and then King Vegeta, Vegeta's dad, and, with, and then like with Frieza. So yeah, this movie was awesome. The action was amazing. The animation was really well done. The voice acting was top notch. I watched it with my dad, and he really enjoyed it. We got Broly on the back there. The fates glide on a destructive showdown. Over 45 minutes of bonus stuff. That's cool. And then next we got set five with Goku when he's a young adult, season four, 
King Piccolo. Season 3 with Master Roshi. Then we got Krillin, Season 2. And then Goku, Season 1. So, yeah, I love the original Dragon Ball. It's really fun seeing them fight in the karate tournament and fight against the enemies. And see Goku grow up is it's fun. Meeting Master Roshi and Krillin and all these characters for the first time. It's great. And, yeah, I definitely want to get the rest of Kai for sure. And, yeah, I know they have, like, some movies for both Z and Dragon Ball that I haven't seen yet. So... That should be fun to watch that. Alright, next we got is my One Piece Blu-rays. We got Film Z and then Strong World. And I think Strong World is my second favorite One Piece movie. My first favorite is One Piece Stampede. You got some big creatures there. And they're all running. Usopp's just like, no. They're all yelling, <laughs> running away, which is funny. It's going to be a rumble in the jungle, an original One Piece movie. Written by creator Ichiro Oda. So, yeah. I definitely want to get all the One Piece movies. Get One Piece Stampede. That's my favorite One Piece movie. And my favorite anime movie of all time. And I would love to get some Ghibli movies. Like, oh, I guess we do have a few. We got like Spirited Away. Howl's Moving Castle. But those are my families. I haven't actually bought any myself. But I definitely should. We, we own like Ponyo. That was that was fun. I remember watching that in theaters. So, lastly here, for my anime collection, we got Food Wars Limited Edition Season 2 and Season 1. And yeah, these come with a lot of cool extra stuff. I'll have a link in the description if you guys want to check it out to find out what's inside these. But yeah, we got the Blu-ray for Season 1 right here. And I can show a little bit. So we got some like art cards and stuff. But this comes like extra stuff like aprons, chopsticks, cup holders, or cup placements. And yeah, Food Wars is fantastic. And I got these for a really great deal. These two limited edition box sets. So yeah, I'm glad to have these in my collection. I'll definitely want to get the rest of them for season 3 and season 4 and then eventually season 5 if they go on sale because they're, they're actually pretty pricey if you didn't get them on sale so yeah food wars is great the food is always surprising I love watching all the shokugekis seeing what kind of food the, the kids come up with and yeah it's just a really interesting show the food is super appetizing a lot of research goes into making the food look appetizing and yeah, so it's in my anime collection. We got Fullmetal Alchemist, Hunter x Hunter, Bleach, Norigami, Dragon Ball, One Piece, Food Wars, Cowboy Bebop. And yeah, so yeah, that's my anime collection, guys. All right, so moving on to the next area, I have my PC monitor, which I use for editing YouTube videos, and I use Premiere Pro. That's the program that I use. And yeah, you can see that I'm currently editing the video you're watching right now. And yeah, and then I have a monitor for my PS4. And I have a microphone, a Audio Technica microphone that I got. And then I have a Log Logitech webcam. And then I got some manga that I'm currently reading. So I've got Dragon Ball, and Fire Force Volume 15, and then Demon Slayer Volume 1. And yeah, I got my headphones here, which are connected to the monitor, my DualShock, and DualShock 4, a tripod, which I use to film videos with, like reaction videos and stuff like that. And then I got my PS Vita right here. And then I have all my PS Vita games. So yeah, that's... My setup right here, and I got I got monitors, and yeah, I got monitors behind right here. If I had a bigger table, I think it would make it easier for putting everything on, like the speakers, for example. So yeah, that's my PC and monitor setup. 
and I also read here too. All right, so moving on here, we got my PS4 and PS Vita game collection. And my friend Paul actually gave me this for a Christmas gift, this stand for games. So that was really nice of him. And yeah, so we got Gravity Rush, a great game, a great gem on the PS4, originally a PS Vita game. And we got Gravity Rush 2, which is one of my all-time favorite games. The powers in that are super cool. You got like superpowers pretty much. And I love Cat and Raven and Sid. And it's a great story and a really fun game. Really great game series. I hope we get a Gravity Rush 3. That'd be awesome. Next we got it's Uncharted 4, A Thieves End. Uncharted, the Nick and Drake collection, and Uncharted The Lost Legacy. And yeah, Naughty Dog made Uncharted Lost Legacy in like a year. It's supposed to be a DLC, but then it ended up being like a 10 hour game. And it's one of my favorite games ever. Uncharted 4. I love Uncharted 2, Uncharted 3, Uncharted. The Lost Legacy is great. I love Nathan Drake. I met the voice actor who voices Nathan Drake. He signed my copy of Uncharted 2 on the PS3. That was really cool meeting him. And yeah, so Uncharted is a great series. And I'm curious to see what Naughty Dog will do next after The Last of Us Part 2. Next we got is the Borderlands The Handsome Collection, which is Borderlands 2 and Borderlands the pre-sequel. I love Borderlands 2, one of my all-time favorite games. And then we got Borderlands 3, which is a great game. And yeah, I like playing as the Siren in Borderlands. That's always fun. Next we got is Kingdom Hearts 3, probably my favorite game from last year. And it's really cool seeing anime and Disney characters in one universe. Like Mickey, Donald, Goofy, Sora. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts is awesome. The game is really fun. It has really cool boss powers. I like all the worlds you go to, like Toy Story, Big Hero 6, etc. Next we got is Final Fantasy XV Deluxe Edition. And yeah, I should show off these deluxe editions. So this is a beautiful cover. And this actually comes with the movie King's Blade. You can see the movie's right there. That movie was awesome. It had Aaron Paul in it via voice from Breaking Bad. So yeah. Final Fantasy 15 is awesome. I can't wait till we get Final Fantasy 7 Remake. I played the demo for that recently, and that was awesome. And yeah, I'll show off the hardcover steelbook from Uncharted 4. It's like shiny. You got Sam Drake, Nathan Drake, Nadine Ross, Sully, Elena. And you get the back, it's like a cage that a skeleton pirate is in. I like the pirate theme in this. It's the last Uncharted game. Well, actually, Lost Legacy came after that. So I don't know if Night Dog is done with them, the Uncharted games. We'll have to see. Alright, next we got the Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Really fun game that follows the story pretty well from the original Dragon Ball Z show. And yeah, I started doing the Let's Play series on that. And I, I had fun playing it, for sure. So next we got is Rise of the Tomb Raider and Tomb Raider the Definitive Edition. And this is a 20 year celebration. And yeah, this is pretty cool. It's like a book. With artwork of Laura Croft. I know one YouTuber I watched named Melanie Mack is a big fan of Tomb Raider. And yeah we got the game. And this is by far my favorite Tomb Raider game of all time. Rise of the Tomb Raider is. Alright, next game we got is Persona 5. Oh yeah, and by the way, the Tomb Raider Definitive Edition is a great game. It's awesome. I like it as much as Uncharted. So we got Persona 5 Steelbook, which is fantastic. And we got the other side. And now you can see the whole image come together. Isn't that cool? And then we got all the characters here. If you guys want to see a Let's Play series on this, definitely let me know. And I could do it. Alright, next we got is LEGO Harry Potter The Collection, which is two games. LEGO Harry Potter Years 1-4, through four, and then LEGO Harry Potter Years 5-7, through seven, which is even better. 
Love all the music. I love, love LEGO games. I'm really excited for LEGO Star Wars. The Rise of Skywalker. The Skywalker Saga. That's what it's called. And yeah, that should be awesome. It has nine, all nine Star Wars movies and one LEGO game. And hopefully it has online co-op. That's one thing I wanted for years. They have couch co-op, but I love to have online co-op in LEGO games. Next we got is Little Big Planet 3, which has Little Big Planet 1 and 2 levels and also 3. And Media Molecule just released a new game called Dreams, which I should definitely play. And yeah, I absolutely love Little Big Planet. Sackboy is really fun. And I made some levels based off The Last of Us in Little Big Planet. And yeah, this is a really fun game. It was buggy at launch, but they, they fixed a lot of stuff. A lot of the bugs. And yeah, this is a really fun game. It's like a 2D platformer, but you have like a bunch of different layers that the that the the person that you're playing as can like go through. And yeah, it probably makes sense if you played the game. So yeah, next we got is Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. And yeah, this game has some of the best gameplay I've ever played. It's a stealth game. And yeah, we got Solid Snake, and it's done by Kojima, who just released Death Stranding last year. And yeah, that's an awesome game. I love Metal Gear Solid. I remember playing Peace Walker on the PSP. That game was amazing for a portable game. Like, there's a lot of great portable games, but um, yeah. So, next we got is Rayman Legends. And this is one of the best platformers I've ever played. It's fantastic. The music is amazing, and it, yeah, it definitely deserves 9.5. It's definitely a 10 out of 10, in my opinion. Amazing game. I love the, the musical levels that you can play. Next we got is Infamous Second Son. And this is one of the first PS4 games I got. You have cool powers in this from the Infamous universe. And the new, and yeah, the developer is making Ghost of the Tsushima, I believe in the name is. So, yeah, it's like an open world or semi open world samurai game that they're gonna make. That's gonna be coming out this year, I think. And then, next we got is my PS Vita games. So, we got Uncharted Golden Abyss. And man, did the PS Vita have one of the best launches ever. I think the Switch rivals that. I'm, I'm having an amazing launch with, with amazing games right out the gate. But this is an amazing game, just as good as Uncharted 1. And I wish they had multiplayer for it. That would have been awesome. But they wanted to get the game out at launch, so that's why that didn't happen. Next we got Sly Cooper. And my friend, Deacon, gave me some of these games. His PS Vita died, unfortunately, on him. But, yeah. I played a lot of PS Vita with my friend. And, yeah, we got Tearaway, which is done by me, Digo Molecule, the same person who did Little League Planet. It's a really cool game that fully utilizes the PS Vita. And then we got Borderlands 2 on the Vita, which is amazing. They're able to pull that off. It is kind of slow and buggy, though. So, yeah. And then next we got one of the best games ever on the PS Vita. Little League Planet PS Vita. And, yeah. Man, is this game awesome. It uses a touch screen really well. And it's such a fun game. I love it so much. And we got Final Fantasy X and X-2. I played a little bit of this. I need to play more of it. And it's a really fun game. Great on the PS Vita. Next we got Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. Fantastic Sly Cooper game. We haven't gotten a Sly Cooper game in a while. This is the last one. I know they're supposed to make a Sly Cooper movie. They had like a trailer for that. But yeah, I don't know what happened with that. Alright, and then the last game I got is Gravity Rush. And yeah, this game is fantastic. I love the Gravity Rush series. It's really fun on the Vita. So yeah, I definitely recommend playing it on the PS4. So yeah, that's my PS Vita and PS4 collection. Alright, so moving on to the last area, we have my desk here. And yeah, I have a few lamps. And this is an artwork I did a while ago. It turned out really awesome. And I use Pilot Ink to draw with, Copic markers to color. And I use this nib tool from jetpens.com to draw it and then I do the outline with the pencil and then I have a kneaded eraser which is like stretchy 
So yeah, that's where I do art and where I do manga hauls and manga collection videos right on this table. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching that video of my room tour and everything in my collection. So yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. Until next time. Peace.